Valentina, I think you are ready. Let's put you on info, and it gives us some health information on how she's doing, too. Okay, Valentina, you're ready. Alarm clock can come off and her contracts. We want to keep an eye on contracts. Okay. I'm a little nervous because I don't want Valentina to die. <laughs> but this has been a pretty tried and trusted booster, so let's do it. Boom. Boom. Off we go. In fact, it's the exact same booster that you just saw lifting the um oh i don't have lock to prograde because valentina is not level one yet this mission will fix that so we're just going to ride that prograde vector up right nope she has no lock to prograde so i'm going to just keep sas off and just sort of let natural aerodynamics I, don't know, I shouldn't get too fussy about the inclination the exact heading here that doesn't really matter lock that on there. Falling over a little quickly. Okay, about to lose our SRBs. There they go. Boom, together. <laughs> looking good, looking good. Valentina seems to be in a good state. And I just turned SAS off. I'm just letting this. I'm just letting natural aerodynamics take care of this. Once Valentina is up, she will be ready for. There we go. Just knock back the throttle. That she will be level one, and then she'll have the locked prograde ability. It should be doing a crew report right yes we're taking a crew report flying high above Kerbin hopefully it'll get that whole thing off before uh, before we're done and otherwise we're just watching well I'm losing my I should actually keep this locked on prograde well, maybe not Notice I'm losing my time to apoapsis here a little bit. Let's get this back up again. Okay. Actually, let's, let's turn on that SAS. Oh, telemetry report from the moon's lowlands just got transmitted. From one of our landers. Our light's on. Okay, we certainly don't need uh, this tower anymore, so I'm going to hit 5. There goes that. And just keep watching our time to Apoapsis here. Our Apoapsis just got over 70 kilometers. Everything is nominal. Okay, 80 kilometers. We're cutting that. Let's turn off SAS. Okay. Not watching my electric charge here. It seems to be bouncing between 59 minutes and 29 minutes. I'm not quite sure what that's about. By the way, we can't do an EVA report here. Uh, Kerbalism takes away those EVA reports while flying through an atmosphere thing. Um, it kind of understandably considers them a little bit silly. <laughs> And you know what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to keep this engine on here. And uh, just because that way if this engine fails, I still have this engine as a backup. We might not ever use the little spark engine, but then that way I don't want Valentina to be stuck in orbit with an engine failure and just like, you know, hours to live. That would be bad. I <laughs> All right, uh, we are in space. We are in space. Let's circularize first before we do anything else. Did we get off our crew report flying high? That's being transmitted still, and we are now collecting a crew report space low. Excellent. Let's time warp to our... We'll do our circularization. 
We should have crossed, the, we definitely crossed the Carmen line, but uh, part of this is being come, returning safely. It's time warp a little bit closer to Apoapsis. There we go. SAS back on. Onto that prograde vector. Oh, it'll be nice when you can do this for us, Valentina. There we go. Increase our throttle. I'm just pitching down just to keep I'm oh never mind I'm done that's it that's our orbit so we've got our orbit we've got our cross the Carmen line all we got to do now is safely get Valentina back down to the surface let's do an EVA report so Valentina is going to go out she is going to do her EVA report and that's going to take about 45 seconds by the way, for those people that know of the manly maneuver, which is you're out of fuel, so you get a Kerbal out to push with their uh, their jet packs, you have limited ability to do the manly maneuver with Kerbalism because the fuel that is currently in Valentina's jet packs came from the monopropellant supply that's in the capsule. So that's why I'm not going to fly around because I'll be using up the monopropellant that is being used to power the fuel cell which will reduce her ability to stay in orbit <laughs> or at least the amount of time she can stay in orbit so you know uh, that's that okay she is done get back inside and all of these are not biome specific so we're just gonna kind of let's just time warp around I should keep an eye on info I do want to make I don't like the way this electric charge time is bouncing I'm not sure what's causing that Oh, is there, there's not stuff being transmitted. Oh, because the sensors are running. Of course, I didn't factor that into this. That's all it is. It's because we're doing the crew report. That's taking up a little bit of electricity. That should settle out once, uh, once the crew report is done. And I was saying it's doing some transmitting. It's not because I don't have an antenna on board. All right, we're done. And hopefully that's caused... Yes, so now... Oh, no, it's still bouncing. What is causing? It just says others. There's an others there that's... I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> Let's get ourselves ready to get her back down. That's what we're going to do. Let's get her back down to the surface. So, what I like to do for... Pro oh, wait. We have trajectories. I've forgotten we have trajectories installed. So I'm going to time warp to about... I always like to start these descents right underneath the Woomerang launch site. And we will make sure that trajectories is on, wherever that may be. Uh, do I lose? I might have lost trajectories for some reason. Okay, that's interesting. No trajectories. So, okay, no trajectories. <laughs> lights are blinking, are they not? I have blinky lights. They're underneath this cowling here. So they're sort of blinking and you can kind of see them, but you kind of cannot. <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, not sure what happened to trajectories. But I think things would be best served to get Valentina back down to the surface here. I'm not too comfortable with the electricity. I should have put some solar cells on here, not just dependent on the fuel cell. All right, so we're just going to burn in a retrograde fashion until this gets down. Oh, there's trajectories. It's making its appearance. Um, it will be short of this because we're about to shed a lot of mass. All right. So, back onto the north vector we go. Oh, wait, why well, don't need to... Oh, I'm going to put it on the normal vector just for the... Not for solar panels this time, but just so when we push this thing out of our way, it's going to go in a different direction. So, let's lose this service module. Or the service module, it's the whole booster. <laughs> There's our little orbiter that we've yet to get to. Using up the oxygen that's inside. I still hate the way the electricity is bouncing back and forth. 
Yeah, let's just get down to the surface. Let's just get down to the surface. Because uh, I, I, I don't want to mess with this. Not until we have more redundancy built into these capsules. Alright, just about to go into the atmosphere. Let's shoo this away. That should also arm our parachutes. Put this onto the retrograde vector. Turn that off. I just realized as well... In so doing that, I just threw away the oxygen supply that was running the fuel cell. <laughs> but hopefully our oxygen demands aren't too high anymore. Now where's trajectories predict- Ah, oh, we're coming short. See that? Because we shed all that mass or we're not carrying through so far. That's... Oh well. Let's get down. We should be okay. Parachutes are armed. Everything looks fine. Oh, I just realized I put the blue light on double. I got a blue light on this side too. That's okay. It's our first orbit. Our first Kerbal in space. Oh, the electric power is blinking because of the lights. Oh, that makes 100% sense. And I've lost my blinky lights. Just people are saying in the comments that the electric was because of the lights blinking on and off. That makes 100% sense. And the blinky lights were all on the sort of service module bit. I guess that's it down there. Um, so uh, now the electric charge is, is stable. I'm surprised those blinky lights used up that much electricity. We're okay. We're okay. That's something to keep in mind. I need a ste more steady source of electrical generation, that's for sure. Alright, we are coming down. We're not going to be landing in the water. Hopefully we won't be landing in these mountains either. <laughs> I'm hoping we'll be just a little bit shy of these mountains. Let's put this on terrain. Or, I don't know. This is nerve-wracking. I don't want to be in the mountains. Don't put you in the mountains. You can land anywhere, just not in the mountains. Oh boy. Oh boy. I, I don't like this at all. Here, I'm going to take the time warp off. I'm getting nervous. Oh my gosh, Valentina. Okay, let's put I'm gonna put SAS on. I'm gonna get ready to sort of try and kind of hold position here. And actually let's jettison the heat shield, because I think that makes the bottom more flat. <laughs> yeah, there's no science being collected. Oh my gosh. I don't like this mountain stuff. I don't think I have any ability to direct this, do I? <laughs> I don't think so. And besides, this is using up a lot of electricity. Oh, now the scrubbers don't matter though. If I run out of electricity, she's fine because it, you know, she's in a breathable atmosphere, but I don't like I'm trying to see if I can sort of I have no idea whether I'm actually directing this, giving myself any sort of lateral motion. I don't think I am. The retrograde vector is still very much right on the top. Okay. Great. We are pointing down right on the side of a cliff. Oh, I could bail Val. You're right. Is, is Am I too low for that? EVA? Oh, I've never done... Oh, no. This might not be a good idea. I don't know. Okay, I'm getting back in. Someone said bail Val. That's a great idea, except I've not practiced too much with the parachutes, and now I think we're too close to the surface. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Come on. Oh, SAS on. Let's see if we can... Stay. 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 <gasps> I think I got it. <laughs> 
Now I got a feeling we're taking another crew report, so I'm gonna stay here because there's a crew report now being taken on the um, in the mountains. I have to assume. Where's crew report? Right here. Is this in the mountains? Yep. So we'll stay here for four minutes here. Let's time warp. I should have bailed her. You're a hundred percent right, people in the chat. I should have bailed her at a much much higher altitude. But I think we're okay. Hey Val, the first mountain climber. Just getting rid of the rest of this crew report. And as well, she can do an EVA. Ah. And do a... I'm surprised that this thing's not rolling at all. Do an EVA report and a surface sample. From the mountains, no less. Oh, I can't time warp. Okay, let's let go. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, jeez Louise, Val, no! Where's the... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Val had a mountain climbing accident. Well, I talked about all the ways to kill Kerbals with Kerbalism, but uh, this, I got, uh, did this completely on my own stupidity. Well, somehow it's still counting as return home safely. <laughs> I should have just left her in the capsule. I am so sorry, Valentina. Oh, dear.